Jennifer Blevins Smith with Integral Clinic Solutions, and you're watching my YouTube channel, Navigating the Business of Medicine. Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about what you should be doing for the end of the year slash last quarter of the year to prepare for the end of this year and the beginning of next year. Before I jump into this, I just wanna let you know that I do have a credentialing class that I have put together and I'm actually finishing it up, but I will be launching the beginners section soon. If you are interested in signing up and taking my course, there is a link in the video description for the convert kit link. If you want your email address added to our notifications once it's launched, it will be on the Thinkific platform and you'll be able to check out all of the details there. But again, if you want to be notified as soon as it's released, please go to that link in the video description and sign up with your email address. All right. Can you believe it? We're already at the end of the year. We have about a month and a half left, a little bit over a month and a half left of 2023. And I wanted to do my annual video of things that should be wrapping up right now in your practice. The biggest thing is you want to make sure you're getting all the claims for 2023 out the door. You want them to be completely finalized and billed out before the bell rings on January 1st for 2024. I know that some of these encounters that maybe are still unfinished for you are going to reach timely filing limits. Like maybe the insurance company only allows you 30 days or 90 days from the data service to be able to bill them and receive reimbursement, but that shouldn't matter. Yes, you should have done them sooner and leaving money on the table is one of my biggest no-nos. And that's a whole nother topic of completing your chart notes in time to be able to send out claims. I'm not here to lecture you on that. That's, like I said, a whole nother day, but it is important to still complete them because it has to do with continuity of care for patients. It has to do with good quality care provided by you. And so those chart notes should still be completed even if you're not gonna get paid for them because that's just good medicine. And all of your 2023 chart notes should be completed so you can start fresh in 2024. Also, if there are encounters that you can still get paid for, why not capture that now? Send them out, get paid for them, and then you can close out your books knowing for 2023 you did good at finishing everything and you're starting the next year on the right foot. That's the big thing. Focus on getting your chart notes done and getting them out the door for claim wise. Everybody focuses on doing this in healthcare at the end of the year. So the insurance companies definitely see a large volume of claims come to them in the last, I would say probably three months of the year and then even into the first month or two of the next year for dates of service from the previous year. So insurance companies do tend to get bogged down and they might not pay and process the claims as fast as they usually do, but that doesn't mean you won't get the money especially going into deductible season. January 1st, for a probably about 85% of people, their deductibles start over. So any finances, money that you can capture right now to help carry you through deductible season next year is only gonna benefit you. I also encourage you to be checking the CMS website to see what the CMS fee schedules are gonna be doing next year. Now, it's November 5th, so when I'm recording this, and to my knowledge, CMS has not released their planned fee schedule for 2024 yet, but it should be coming within the next week or so. And that is something you definitely need to be watching for, and you need to see what's happening, because you might need to make adjustments to your fee schedule based on those changes that go into effect January 1st. And you don't wanna wait till the last minute. So make sure that you have somebody in your practice, if it's not you, looking that up, looking at the fees, seeing what's going on, comparing it to what your fee schedule is. And if you need to launch a new fee schedule with new charges starting January 1, you can start working on that as soon as possible. 
You also need to be aware of what plans are maybe going to be no longer valid in your area after the first of the year and maybe some new ones that might be coming down the road. So you can educate your front desk. You can be aware if any referrals or prior offs are going to be needed for those plans even gonna be participating with those plans based on your contracts. If you're not sure, it gives you time to contact your provider relations at each of the insurance companies to find out. It's always good to be as prepared as possible going into the new year with finding this stuff out now, putting plans into place, communicating with staff, or patients or both depending on the situation and then going into the new year on a really steady foundation. You also want to be looking at your books and your AR. What is still really outstanding with your insurance companies? What's really outstanding in patient collections? Is it time to send a bunch of patient accounts to collections to start on a better foot? Do you need to be following up on certain insurance companies because there's still some major outstanding issues? This is a perfect time to be trying to wrap that stuff up or at least getting a really good idea of what's going on so that you have a game plan moving into the next year. I don't know about you, but the first of the year can be really crazy in healthcare and same with the end of the year. So if you can try to get this stuff going as early as possible and you don't feel so overwhelmed, you won't be as likely to drop the ball on things or miss things. Also, depending on your specialty, most likely you're seeing an increase of people wanting to get in and be seen before the end of the year. Most likely it's because they have met their deductibles for 2023 and they have some outstanding medical issues or concerns that they want addressed while they don't have to pay so much out of pocket before the first of the year. This is a perfect time to sit down your staff, help them understand how to best coordinate, balance these suggestions, how to prioritize patients, especially if you're in a practice where you offer preventive exams, preventive uh, procedures, stuff like that, because people are going to want to try to get that done before the next year. Also, there's going to be a lot of days off with the holidays and how they fall. And you'll wanna make sure that you have the proper amount of staff for the days that are gonna be working. And if you have approved maybe by accident too many people to have certain days off and you're gonna be having skeleton crews, maybe you need to look at your patient scheduling and be like, ooh, we only have one provider here this day. We need to block out some for acute care needs like the day of or the day before. Or, ooh, we only have one front desk, desk person here. I need to maybe find some coverage or you know stuff like that plan ahead make sure that you're not giving poor patient care or leaving any kind of liability issues out there because of poor planning this is just a really good time to see if there's any loose ends out there tie those up as well as you're most likely probably an open enrollment if you offer health care insurance to your staff. So you're probably trying to navigate that area, help your staff with choosing what plans would be best for them, getting them enrolled, communicating with the uh, benefit um, service department or um, company that's helping you with that. So you have that going on. I mean, there's so many things going on, but you just need to make sure that you're really making notes and lists if you need to. You're aware of how what's going on now could impact the first of the year. And you're just kind of rallying the troops, giving the support where you need to, communicating with them and preparing as much as possible. If you have any questions or comments, please leave that in the comments below. Smash the thumbs up button if today's video was helpful. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and please share my video with any of your colleagues whom would need or maybe benefit from hearing this. Thank you so much. Be well. Bye-bye.